Hi, and welcome to another episode of Window Cleaning Reality Check. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the two main types of pure waterfication systems, how they basically work, and then we're gonna have a discussion about how to make the proper buying decision for your company. If you've noticed online, on some of the window cleaning forums, there's quite often discussions and debates about how to buy a pure waterfication system based on your TDS in your area. When they mean TDS, they're talking about total dissolved solids in your local water that you're going to be using it in your area there. So for instance, you might live in a very hard water area where maybe the TDS level coming out of the tap is 300, where someone else might only have a TDS level of 50. That is only one element of the buying decision, but we're going to get into that in a minute. What we want to take a look at now are basically how the two systems work. So you may have heard of a single stage DI system. That would be something such as this pressure vessel here, which uses ion exchange resin beads to purify the water. Sometimes you may see a system that uses one or two types of these housings. Inside there's a refillable cartridge. Again, it's using ion exchange resin to purify the water. And then we'll get into a multi-stage system such as this. And this is what's called an RODI system. RO stands for reverse osmosis. So in a system like this, you'll have a pre-filter, sometimes one or two pre-filters. It's usually a carbon block filter and a sediment filter. Sometimes it's all combined in one. Then you'll have a reverse osmosis membrane. This is basically, a, in the most basic uh, terminology, it's a big, long, perforated sheet that's rolled really tight and turned on its end. It's kind of like a toilet paper roll, if you will. Water gets pushed through this membrane, it goes through, collects the minerals, they go through one side of the membrane, pure water comes out the other side. Now, because the reverse osmosis membrane can't do a 100% job of purification, you'll usually see a smaller DI uh, filter on the end of it. <clears throat> so we got the pre-filter, reverse osmosis, usually cleaning up to about 97, sometimes even 98% if you have a lot of good uh, water pressure and it's also warm water going through it. And then finally a DI, which will do the purification at the end. So like I said, a lot of the discussions online, they talk about what is the TDS level in your area. If you've got high TDS, you might want a multi-filter system such as this. But if you have low TDS, you can go with something such as a DI only system. But that's only part of the story. So let's have a discussion about how to make the proper decision for you. I'm quite often asked, what does a better job at purification? Or what does the better job cleaning windows? A single stage DI system, or a multi-stage. See, a lot of people are under the idea that if you're spending a lot more money on multiple filters, that the water is coming out cleaner than on a single stage system such as this. And that's actually not true at all. In fact, DI is one of the best forms of water purification. The only issue with it is, is that it can't do it for a very long time. Imagine this uh, vessel here was filled with a million DI resin beads, ion exchange beads. Each one of those beads can only do its job once. And then after you know several days of using this particular system, the DI is called what they, uh, they refer to as exhausted. It can no longer produce pure water because all the individual beads are all worn out as opposed to a multi-stage system, which like I said, the RO can usually last you know, a couple years or more. So one of the things I like to do when a, a window cleaner calls me up or they come into the store or they send me an email asking about which pure waterification system was best for them, I go through a series of questions. First of all, most importantly is I need to know how often are you going to use the system. If somebody tells me they're going to be using the system once a month because they got this contract to do a four-story building or a five-story building, other times they're just doing groundwork or whatever, let's say they're a commercial window cleaner, you know what, unless they've got really, really high TDS water in their area, I'm almost always going to point towards a DI system. If somebody tells me that they are a residential window cleaner and, uh, you know, they're, they like doing the squeegee work, but sometimes they'll get a job where, let's say, a three-story house in the front turns into a four-story house in the back because the landscaping goes down. Suddenly they're faced with, well, how am I going to clean this? Am I going to try to do some crazy hanging out a window on the top floor or, or am I going to rent a 40 foot ladder, which I'm not comfortable with. 
So sometimes it'll be buying the system because they just want to, you know, get into water fed slowly and they want to just sample it by doing the high stuff with the water fed and then doing the groundwork with traditional tools. Perfectly fine. Again, we're talking about a DI only system in most cases. Really what it comes down to as well is the economics. So let's say for instance, someone plans on using a DI system, I don't know, let's say four or five times a month. So they buy a system, maybe six, $700. Systems usually come already pre-charged with a resin TDS meter to test the water quality and whatnot. And then over the course of a window cleaning season, they spend, I don't know, 800, maybe even a thousand dollars worth of replacement resin. Okay, so you're looking at an outlay of, you know, $1,600, $1,700. You have to take a look at what your return on that $1,700 is going to be, and then compare it to buying a multi-stage system, which could be, you know, two to $3,000, depending on uh, how many uh, ROs it has or whatever, and also depending on the type of pole you get with that system. And it might actually end up being cheaper in the long run to simply have a DI system. Yes, next year you'll have to buy more resin again, but you won't have to buy the system again, just the resin only. Now let's take a look at some of the pluses for buying the RODI system. Well, you're gonna pay a lot more in the front, but you're gonna pay a lot less over time. For instance, I know a lot of people in my area, if they were to buy a three-stage system, they could use it five or six days a week and only have to replace the resin maybe twice a year, the pre-filter maybe up to six times a year. You're looking at probably, I'd say, you know, $150 to $200 max in replacement filters over the year. And, and that's a, if you're using it a whole lot. So as you can see, each system has its drawback as far as cost. DI, it's replacement resin cost, and the multi-stage is the initial outlay of cash to get a system in the first place. Now. One of the other things we have to take into consideration is how high the cleaner wants to go with their pure water system. That in combination with how often might also make a decision for them. For instance, someone might uh, want to do infrequent work, but very high up. This is where a DI system works very well as well because deionization doesn't get a lot of pressure drop when going through the system as opposed to reverse osmosis. A reverse osmosis membrane is very dependent on there being good pressure going into it, not only for delivering pure water, uh, the amount of pure water, but also it's more efficient for making pure water altogether. So a system such as this is usually pretty good up until three stories in most areas. However, you get into uh, more rural areas where you're going off uh, well water and that kind of stuff, getting up to three stories still might be a challenge and you might need a booster pump but also definitely when you're going four stories and above, you will need some kind of booster pump system in order to get this pressurized properly to deliver water up that high. As opposed to DI, which uses hardly any pressure at all. You know, just regular tap water, usually if you hold your, your brush with the tap water fully turned on and the valve to the system is fully turned on, you'll have water shooting out three, four, maybe even five feet which is actually a big waste of water. So I always tell people to preserve the life of their DI resin, turn that water down. You really only need a amount of water, like about a foot or so out of the brush head before it falls down. If it's shooting out any further than that, it's a waste. You need, you know, I mean, you can clean windows for as little as half a gallon per minute. But of course, if you're gonna use some of these brushes that you might see that have fan jets or multiple jets like rinse bars, Again, you're gonna need a lot of water. And if you're doing infrequent work or you're doing high up work, DI is fine. But here you'll have to consider a booster pump if you're gonna need a lot more water. So, like I said, there's lots of questions to ask. I always recommend that if you're in the market for buying a pure water system, you know, you're tempted to jump on the forums, ask people, but you're gonna get all kinds of different answers. People are always gonna tell you, oh, if your TDS is over 100, you need uh, an RO DI system because if it's DI only, you're gonna spend way too much on resin. And that isn't always true. You really have to be able to talk to the person like as if you know, you're know, you the salesperson, they're the customers, and you wanna put the right tools in their hand. There's nothing worse than selling somebody a system that's inadequate or on the other time, just overkill. 
because if they feel like they've overspent, you haven't done your job. If they felt like they, they're inadequate, uh, inadequately supplied, they're gonna, you know, it's, it's a bad customer experience. So window cleaners, talk to your suppliers, form that relationship with them, find out exactly what they have to offer, tell them exactly how you plan to use the system and be honest. And when I say be honest, I have a lot of people who come in here, oh, I just want to use it for the occasional job and they'll buy a DI system. And then they fall in love with it and they end up using it all the time, but then they complain how much resin replacement is. So you got to be honest to yourself. Do you, is your intention really to use it a lot in the long run? You might want to consider something a little bit more robust. Anyway, we've covered all kinds of things here. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments about buying pure water systems, be sure to leave a comment uh, down below. And I'll, you know, I take a look at the comments all the time and I'll try to answer anything that's not covered here. All right, thanks for watching. Bye for now.